Hi, and welcome to Smoke Training. This is part one of a series of videos introducing Smoke's advanced visual effects environment, Connect Effects. We'll look at how to add Connect Effects to a clip, explore how a node based workflow is processed, and on returning to your timeline, show you how to save your effects for use again. In this series of tutorials, we will start exploring Smoke's node based visual effects environment, which is called Connect Effects. In FCP7, if you were to create complex visual effects, you would either require a number of third party plugins or you'd send the footage to another application such as Motion. The powerful effects toolset of Connect Effects can be applied directly to our timeline, so there is no need for round tripping between external applications and the dependence on third party plugins are reduced. So, before we jump in headfirst and start creating visual effects, it's important to get a really good understanding of the way the Connect Effects environment works. Right, let's start by adding the Connect Effects setup to a clip on our timeline. Select the clip and press Control Tab to bring up the Effect Type menu. Over on the left, select Create Connect Effects. Smoke will now load the default layout for the Connect Effects environment. Just to give ourselves more room, let's hide the media panel on the left by going to the menu and selecting Hidden. On the left, we have what is called the Connect Effects schematic. Here is where we add nodes or plugins if you like to build a series of connected elements to produce the final effect. Starting at the left, here is our source clip that we selected on the timeline. This node over here on the right is called the Connect Effects Output node. This is the final result or sum of all the elements added to our source clip. The output node is what gets sent back to our timeline. Effects get added to the Connect Effects workspace by dragging any of the available nodes from the effects bin at the bottom here up into the Connect Effects schematic. We will look at this process of adding effects in the next episode. In the meantime, take a look at this example. Starting at the left with our source image, a number of different effect nodes are added, finally all combining together as one on the right hand side. You could think of it as a series of streams, starting inland in the mountains, the different streams flow along, merging as they go, finally forming the one large river which is the outlet to the sea, which in our case is the output back to our timeline. To return back to the editing workspace, click on Exit CFX. Back on the timeline, the CFX icon is shown on our timeline segment, indicating this clip has Connect Effects attached to it. A clip containing Connect Effects can be visually identified as it becomes a darker blue colour. Just like timeline effects, a Connect Effects setup can be stored in the media panel for later use. You can drag the effect to the media panel, or here's an even faster way. With the segment selected in the timeline, right click on the Connect Effects button in the Effect Toolbar. Choose Create Effect Setup. The setup is then saved to the media panel. You can access the Connect Effect node based setup at any time by double clicking the clip segment in the timeline. In the next episode of this Connect Effect series, we'll take a closer look at how effect nodes work. We'll walk through the process of adding, connecting, and deleting nodes and explore the different input and output connections that make up a node. That brings to a close part one of this series introducing Smoke 2013's visual effects compositing environment, Connect Effects. Thank you for watching. In our next episode, we'll take a closer look at working with effect nodes inside of Connect Effects. Uh.